What's going on, everybody? Back in Huntsville, Alabama, thanks to this comment, I'll put it somewhere right here, because he said, hey, there's a lady up here buried in a rocking chair also. And you know me, I'm a sucker for a good rocking chair, apparently. So I came up here. And if you're watching this, this is after we do the, the Nazi scientist stuff. So we're in the same cemetery, it's a big cemetery. There's a lot of, a lot of people. It's right next to the uh, Dead Children's Playground. There's a lot of history in this area, which all of those videos are, are on the channel. So if you're curious, there's quite a few of those. But we need to go find the lady of the hour and I'll see what I can dig up about her. There's not a lot because you gotta think this happened in the early 1800s to mid 1800s and the you know reporting was not the best back then and you know it's kind of been lost to history too because it's like what 160 70 years now so yeah things have changed times have changed and um, let's go see if we can't find that grave and we'll talk a little bit more about her okay so as we walk around I'm gonna try to find a little bit about this. So Huntsville Meridian, longitude, Major Thomas Freeman, the surveyor, the US government land office established the line known as the Huntsville Meridian in 1807, which is the reference for all property surveyed in North Alabama. Huh. Well, how about that? Who would have thought? I don't quite see his, uh, I don't see his stuff because that's uh, a Mary Anderson, 1844. Wow. 1759. So she saw the Revolutionary War. How cool is that? All right, so we're going to see Mary Chambers Bibb. Now she was the wife of William D. Bibb, which was the son of the governor at the time, Thomas Bibb. Now she died shortly after their marriage from poison. Now at the time she was, at, when, at, back then, when they would get married, it was, you were supposed to look white, you know, like refreshing, or I don't even know why you would do it. So they would take small tablespoons or teaspoons or whatever spoons of arsenic to make them look more pale for some weird reason. And she accidentally took too much and I mean, it killed her, obviously. So, she was buried in her wedding gown and is supposedly sitting in a rocking chair. Now, like I said before, I'm a sucker for a good rocking chair grave. I think these are kind of neat to be buried in random whatevers. So, there are all kinds of history up here like this Huntsville area was one of the first areas settled in Alabama because it came out of Tennessee and the ground's really fertile up here. You can do some really good growing. And this cemetery has, this part of the cemetery has been here for a long, long time as you can see. So we're just taking a casual stroll today. I was up here doing something else and I thought hey why not check on a lady in a rocking chair so I hope you guys don't mind the stroll so as we stroll I'd like to remind and say thank you for watching if this is your first time here thank you so much if you're a subscriber you guys are the best without you this channel wouldn't be anything and wow that is a big obelisk over there isn't it and I would like to also say that 
Um, hey, look, there's the surveyor thing we were just talking about. That's what this says, U.S. Surveyor Central. So this is the thing. I guess everything is based off. Uh, I don't, you know, kind of just doing a walkthrough. Yeah, look at that. All right, so that shows Huntsville. Let's see. Yep, there's Huntsville. And there's the line that shows how everything in Alabama is set up. Now that died 1821. So there's the guy that we just read about. All right. So, as I was saying, thank you to the new subscribers. The channel's grown. The community's great. You guys comment on everything. If I mispronounce something, you correct me on it. And that's how we need to roll. If there's anything wrong, we need to fix it. And I'll pin it at the top so we'll know. November 14th, for 22 years, the beloved pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Huntsville. He being dead yet speech. Spee? Speaketh. He being dead yet speaketh. John Allen. Man, that thing is big. Holy moly. Okay. So, also, the last thing I want to say about the whole subscribing and all that stuff. We have a join a membership button. And what I am going to start doing is putting the videos out early for the members and then they'll release like normal to the public and after that I may start including the trips on the way to get to these places and all kinds of interesting things well 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 Mary Bibb God it's so hard to see there it is Mary uh, Bibb it says wife, it's hard to read, wife of obviously William D. Bibb. Uh, let's see, daughter of, I can't really, maybe in the comments you guys could iron this out. So, oh boy, I don't, that's a D, D something Dodd, uh, I don't know. It actually comes through clear on the GoPro. And then there's the, the died May 20 something of 1855. So yeah, that's it. So she is in there concealed in her wedding dress in a rocking chair. Now that is another cool cool find so while we're over here let's see what else gosh this is this is some really historic all right so this is robert chambers 18 robert smith chambers there's his born and death let me scroll across a little bit 1818 to 1850 There's so much in the cemetery, like history-wise, of not only the state of Alabama, which I live in, but the, you know, the U.S. history, because there's governors and Civil War veterans, Revolutionary War, War of 1812, Mexican-American War, they're all here. So, there's a lot that we can come back and do here. So I'll tell you what, that's it. I'm a sucker for a lady in a rocking chair, what can I say? But after I got all the, so I hope you had fun walking around trying to find this with me. This is kind of how I do it. I park and go, yeah, that kind of looks like that's where she would be. And I'll just get out and walk around. And so this is kind of how the process works. This is how the sandwich is made. I hope you enjoy all the other videos. If there's anything you would like me to go do and see, hey, leave it in the comments. I love the comments. The comments are great. Like I said earlier, you guys hold me accountable. If I say something wrong or get a date wrong, you let me know. And that's how we need to operate. 
We need to make sure that history is accurate. And you never know what you're going to find on the back roads. We'll see you guys next time.